Good evening, ma. My name is Eugene May Vitante Peralta from Block 5. So, my topic is all about the webinar last time, and the title is Protocols in Handling Children in Conflict with the Law. So, this is the RA 9344, which is an act established a comprehensive juvenile justice and welfare system, creating the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council under the Department of Justice appropriating funds therefore and for others purposes so next child so child a child is a person under 18 years of age so here i know when the person is is 18 years old and below so there are still a child a minor 15 years and below has no criminal responsibility at all. So there, a minor 15 years old and below has no. So when the child is 15 years old and and he she commits criminal, I I mean crime, they don't have a criminal responsibility. Next, about 15 years old but below 18, also has no criminal responsibility unless they acted with with discernment so you're yeah, next rights of child so right to be treated with humanity and respect as a human we need to treated fair in everything so r right not to be subjected to torture cruel and inhuman treatment right to bail or recognizance right to privacy right to probation if qualified right to diversion if qualified right to automatic suspensions of sentence so when they when they 18 years old and below or i mean 50 years old below um if they commit a crimes they automatic suspend the the i mean the sentence that they give to them so right not to be deprived arbitrarily of his liberty or restricted more than as necessary right to be separated from adult offenders so you know it, it, it is separated for the it's for child and for adults right to maintain contract with his family right not to be imposed the death sentence right to be free from perjury concealment or misrepresentation and then that's that's the right of child so next child at risk so a child who is vulnerable to and to and at the risk of committing criminal offense because of personal, family, and social circumstances. So a child at risk is a street child. So when we say in a street, a street child, we all know that they are prone because they are they are living in everywhere. So next, a victim of abuse. Yeah, a victim of abandoned or neglected. The abandoned children, or um, if uh, the lonely people, a product of dysfunctional family. So when let let's say a broken family, so maybe they they go they go some um, bad doings or criminal things out of school youth. So, yeah, the people who's not um, um, entering the school anymore, a member of a gang. So when we say gang, yeah, they're always, um, they're always, we think that they're always in the, they're doing crimes like that lives in a community with high level of criminality so here 
of course, when you are living with a high level of criminality, so you will adapt it. And then, and then, yeah, you will become a criminal also because what your neighbors doing is also you will do. But it's up to you. Lives in situational of armed conflict. So that's a child at least. So here, I have an example of of my tapi. So here, a 15 years old boy named Junjun, bullied by Jasper, his classmate. But Junjun resists and he get a big rap and accidentally he hit Jasper in the head and Jasper immediately falls down. So, Mang Totoy, the janitor of the school, rescued the ja rescued Jasper and bring in the nearest hospital and the doctors declares that Jasper is dead on arrival. The family of Jasper wants to file a case to Junjun for the criminal incident. So here in the in my example, Junjun is only I I mean Yeah, Junjun is only a fifteen years old. And then the family of Jasper wants to file a case for, to Junjun because he commits we we say that Junjun commits crime because um Jasper dead because of what he Junjun's dead I did but in our law here in the Philippines if you're under age as I read earlier of below 18 you have no criminal responsibility at all of course we of course we um we adopt it but instead the child have the chance to go in the process so even if they didn't have criminal responsibility at all um their child has a uh, go to I don't just go to um, process of the di diversion program, which is they can rehabilitate Junjun that he commits crimes, so that so that after diversion the child will become better and maybe he didn't commit crimes again. So yeah, when when the child commit crimes below eighteen years old. Um, they rehabilitate it and then maybe after rehabilitation and then he, will, he she will go out on that place um, um, he didn't go I mean he, he didn't do crimes anymore so um, on that webinar last time that we, we um, tackle. Um, he taught me a lot. Um, I learned a lot, and I, I've learned a lot on that because, um, as a future, as a future law enforcer, I, I will adopt it, and I know how to, how to, um, educate other children and other people who who's around me and I will go to all, always in the right decision and I will not um, give give I will not um, I will not so yeah um, in that on that on my on my topic, um, I hope you learn and you understand what I discuss, and that's it. Thank you and good evening.